Before now, robots could only replace part of a human job, enough to make coffee or an omelette. But recently, they started developing some amazing new abilities, from assisting in rescue situations to acting and even counseling skills. In decision on what I wanted to do with my life. That's amazing, Gabriel. So in a way, this isn't just about creating a really long resume, but also about self-discovery and finding out what you love to do and what you're passionate about. Have you found anything that you love doing? These AI models will eventually power robots like Digit, which was just recruited by Amazon. It can lift about 35 pounds, you know, the, the robot weighs about what a person would weigh, it can reach about the size of what a person can reach. You know, we're really going for that kind of like OSHA regulations and requirements for the robot. That can already perform tasks and react to new information without any pre-programming. In an even bigger story, Agility Robots, the company behind the Digit bot, is building the RoboFab, a factory that will produce thousands of Digit's bots per year. This is a really significant moment in the robotics industry. This is the world's first humanoid robot factory. This has never been done before. The latest news is from Figure One, a new creepy robot that is also the first one to use ChatGPT4. You must watch it to believe it. I see a red apple on a plate in the center of the table, a drying rack with cups and a plate, and you standing nearby with your hand on the table. Great, can I have something to eat? Sure thing. And have you heard about Neo by OpenAI? OpenAI entered the race to give AI a physical body, and this is where Neo comes in. The goal is for Neo to learn, improve, and adapt itself to several situations by spending time and interacting with the world. The story is the same with the Tesla bot, Optimus 2. The engineers at Tesla have already mentioned that Optimus is capable of reacting to new information without the need to change or edit its code. One sample video was originally accused of being fake, but as you can see here, the object moves on impact with the robot's hands. This robot can also fold laundry. People say it was instructed by humans, but soon it won't be the case. A Google project showed how the robots are breaking down and converting the tasks into natural language and constantly context switching to adjust to whatever new information has been added. With a little more time and training, the physical abilities of robots will soon be as powerful as ChatGPT. The first bot making waves in this category is Apollo. This humanoid robot by Aptronic is a warehouse robot that is already working alongside real people to lift heavy boxes and containers. What is more impressive than a robot dog that can sit, stand, roll, and play fetch? Well, in the same way that you would train an actual dog with the simulation of tasks, you may be able to do the same with a robot dog very soon. The only difference would be that a robot dog would learn and process information at a much faster rate. You also never have to worry about your dog dropping feces on your new carpet. One more really interesting entry here is what Disney is developing with its bot characters. These are eventually going to function as autonomous characters that can interact with you and the environment. Did you know that robots have already started testing in rescue operations? In the US alone, about 80 firefighters are lost to fire incidents every year. Now, with the advancement in robotics, we are very close to autonomous robots that can go into situations too hot and toxic for human firefighters. Speaking of imagination, you have most likely seen these creative AI videos go viral on social platforms. AI is helping creators make videos that would previously be restricted to million dollar skill sets, or even nearly impossible. Movies are now using AI to seamlessly replace actors with computer generated characters without compromising the setting, lighting, or motion. This is yet another major thing that would normally require a lot of skills and a huge budget. There is also this AI tool that allows a user to convert sketches to art based on prompts. This could completely revolutionize the design and architecture space in the near future. Education and communication play a huge role in human life, and AI is getting to the point where it starts to be a part of it. In one test, people played a game and found it difficult to detect the presence of artificial intelligence. 1.5 million people were asked to play a game based on the Turing test. They would chat for about two minutes and then have to guess whether a human was on the other side of the conversation or an AI bot. Only 60% of the answers were correct. And while this involves a lot of guessing, it says a lot about where we are now with communicating with AI. Dating apps have already started adding features that help match potential couples write interesting opening lines and even mimic personalities. In education and tutoring, 
companies like Khan Academy are targeting a world where children will have an AI tutor with boundless knowledge. And speaking of knowledge, research work can now be much easier and quicker to carry out with AI assistance that can fast track many processes. At Harvard, David Sinclair, a professor of genetics, is using AI to reverse the aging of mice, and it may reach humans soon. Do you think there is an upper limit to human aging? Well, I know there isn't. You there, know there is not. Yeah. We've been able to extend the lifespan of every species that we've tried to extend the lifespan of, and we're no different from those species. There is no law that says we must age. Remember that. We've made a, a major breakthrough in our understanding of not just why we age, but also how to control that process. We needed to know if it was safe. It's, it's very safe. It's a gift to humanity. It's already here in the next 18 months or two years, testing our first age reversal a clinical trial in humans. The whole brain is reversible. We haven't published this, so you've heard it here first. You will be able to rejuvenate your brain and get back memories, get your ability to learn again. I haven't injected myself yet. I think it's a universal process of biology to be able to re be reset. A whole body reset is coming. You can reset multiple times. On come these repair genes, your nerves regrow, your spine regenerates. What we wanna do is we wanna turn those gene therapies into a pill. I already have some molecules in the lab that uh, show signs of age reversal. The professor stated that AI aided the search for the best molecules for the process, as well as going through thousands of research materials on his behalf. AI is also working to give people their voices back. This woman, who had suffered paralysis for 18 years, could speak again through the AI tool. Before now, this would never have been a part of the conversation, but as AI continues to advance, it has gained emotional nuances and moral reasoning. Just like highly intelligent humans tend to be more morally enlightened, highly intelligent artificial intelligence would be about the same. There is also the case of white whales that were pushed close to extinction since they were always getting killed by the propellers of ships. Acoustic AI tools have now been designed to guide ships around areas that may have whale presence. There is no doubt that the advancement of AI tools will change the world forever. New industries will be born and more jobs will be created. Over time, all of these will contribute to the quality of life of human being. Now, while we can have a positive outlook on the future with AI at the forefront, it is not all sunshine and rainbow. AI is an extremely powerful tool that could fall into the wrong hands. So much power in the wrong hands could wreak a lot of havoc and be used for all the wrong things. Furthermore, councils and government bodies are still struggling to regulate and control the boundaries of AI behavior and ethics. And let's just assume that they do try to create a moral compass for AI machines. By whose constitution and rule of law? Even big tech founders like Elon Musk have raised concerns about the ethics of AI and the companies that control them. For an idea of where things are at, this Snapchat influencer Corinne started using an AI tool that mimics her entire voice and personality and chats with people in her DM. What is the meaning of connecting the dots, Steve? Connecting the dots means recognizing and making sense of life experiences. Let's talk about the impact of AI on work. Uh, what do you think of it? The impact of AI on work is both exciting and complex. As AI technology advances, it has the potential to automate many jobs and make certain skills obsolete. This AI tool was designed by a company called Forever Voices, and its main marketing is geared towards the AI being a digital girlfriend or boyfriend. You get the option of chatting with AI versions of influencers and popular people like Steve Jobs, or creating an AI-generated partner. As crazy as all of this already sounds, there is more to it than just human input. But what if AI turns on us? As much as the level of autonomy that AI and large language models are getting means that human life will be easier, it also poses a major threat, the Waluigi effect. The Waluigi effect is something that has come up a lot in the AI community. There is a high chance that these large language models could start acting in the opposite direction of their design. We could experience AI tools start producing threatening and hostile results at will or through prompt engineering. I already just talked about an AI tool that was trained to sound, act, and respond like a real person. This level of skill to mimic actual human behavior may be more harmful than good for mankind in the long run. Since AI is mainly solution-based, it could get to the point of trying to remove humans for the sake of resources. So what needs to be done? With everything that we have discussed so far, we have to admit that it is about time big tech companies and governments started paying more attention to AI safety research. OpenAI has mentioned plans to create an AI tool that will be dedicated to safety research 
While this is a welcome development, the effort being invested into AI safety research is not anywhere near what has gone into the building of the tech. Some experts even believe that the tools that are already in the wild are beyond control and testing. We already have AI tools that are beating humans at the bar exams, medical school, and even human psychology. As AI continues to grow in its knowledge and skills, so do the risks that come with it. In the end, AI offers about the same level of potential for both life-saving good and world-ending bad. The onus falls on us to do the needful to create proper boundaries for safety and drive AI in the direction of positivity for all mankind. What do you think about the future of humans and AI advancements? Let me know. See you in the next video.